Is a Persian cat the right breed for you? Difficult question to answer, but I'm going to help you. I'm gonna describe the ideal candidate for owning a Persian cat, and I'm also going to discuss the personality and needs of a Persian cat. After watching this video, you'll be able to know if you would make a great Persian cat parent. And now let's start with the first one. Should you get a Persian cat if you're a busy person? Well, if you're a busy person, especially if you're working lots of hours away from home, then you should think twice before getting a Persian cat. Persian cats are not overly dependent indeed, but they do need cuddles and attention from their owners. If they don't get their daily dose of love, then they can become really sad and depressed. If you're mostly away from home, it could still work, because Persians love to hang out and sleep during the day. But it will only work if you understand your Persians' emotional needs and make sure to meet them. If this is the case and you're a very busy person, then I would suggest you to get leader mates so they can keep each other company. But sadly, there is another aspect you should really take into consideration if you're a busy person and I'll address it when I talk about laziness. What if you live in an apartment or in a small apartment? Is the Persian cat right for you? Well, the good news is that Persian cats can be happy in an apartment and even in a small one. Luckily, Persian cats are not very active, in fact, they love to hang out in a comfy space more than anything. You'll probably have to make sure your cat exercises enough. Moreover, their meow is not loud at all, not even when they're asking for food. On the contrary, their voice is soft and pleasant to hear. You can rest assured your neighbors won't be disturbed by your cat. But what if you want to have a walking companion? For starters, you should only ever consider taking a cat on a walk if you live in a quiet residential area. Cats, unlike dogs, get scared pretty easily and won't enjoy a loud environment. With Persian cats, however, taking them for a walk is not recommended for two reasons. Firstly, their long coat will get tangled and dirty, and you'll need to clean it afterwards. And secondly, Persian cats are not usually interested in the outside world, nor have the energy required for going on a walk. So I would suggest you only keep your Persian cat indoors. What if you have kids or pets? Would a Persian cat be suited in these situations? Persian cats do perfectly with older and well-behaved children. They are calm, so it's unlikely they'll be aggressive. As far as young children are involved, a Persian will do well if the kid is supervised while interacting with the cat. As Persians are not usually aggressive, they will run when they decide they've had enough. It's your job to make sure a Persian can run away somewhere your kid doesn't have access. Persian cats can also be great companions to other cats and even dogs, especially if the other pets are well behaved or match the personality of the Persian. But you should definitely not get a Persian nor any other cat if you have a dog from the terrier group or if your dog has a strong hunting urge. Even if they seem to get along, you never know when your dog's instinct could kick in. Additionally, Persian cats can even do well with birds or hamsters, as these cats don't really have a hunting instinct. Clearly, you shouldn't leave your cat unsupervised near these small animals, but the Persian cat is your best pet if you already have them. Are Persian cats suited for lonely people? If you're a lonely person, or if you're working from home and want a pet to keep you company, then a Persian cat can be a great choice. That's because Persian cats are loving and caring pets. They enjoy receiving attention and affection and become really attached to their owners. Moreover, they enjoy being picked up and held. And if you want a lap cat, you're in luck, as Persian cats are known for choosing your lap as their perfect laying spot. So overall, they are great cats to have as companions, but don't get me wrong, I'm not saying they are the most affectionate cat breed. They are indeed affectionate, but they won't be at your ankle at every given moment because they also enjoy napping in different places around the home. But if you want a Persian cat for its wonderful personality and to keep you company, then please pay attention to the next topic. Are you a lazy person? If you really want a Persian cat, then please take a moment and ask yourself, are you a responsible person? Do you pay the bills on time, have everything figured out, regardless if you're working from home or go to work? Please really think about this, because a Persian cat is definitely not suited for people who are not responsible or for lazy people. If you are in any of the categories above, then please don't get a Persian cat. There are several reasons why you should not get a Persian cat. Firstly, Persian cats need lots of grooming, but how much you might ask? Well, they need to be brushed daily for at least 15 minutes. Yes, even if you come from work and you're really tired, it's no excuse. You'll need to do this because the long fur of a Persian gets tangled easily and you don't want any clumps to form. But this is not all. You'll also need to wipe your cat's eyes at least twice a day using a special solution. Regular baths are also a must and don't forget about the regular visits to the doctor, which in the case of Persians might be more frequent. But we'll discuss more about this in the health and money chapter. What if you want to sleep with your cat? So lots of cat parents want a cat they can sleep with and frankly, why wouldn't you? While a Persian cat would certainly love to curl up and fall asleep near you, it might be difficult to do that if you get a Persian. 
Not because your cat would not want it, but because Persians are very prone to breathing difficulties, meaning that your cat will have a very high chance of snoring. Now, of course, you can get used to the sound and come to ignore it, or maybe you're one of those lucky people that can fall asleep in loud environments. But nevertheless, if you want a Persian cat, you must take this into account. What if you often have friends over or guests? Good news, you won't have to worry if you get a Persian. Your cat won't be scared of the new arrivals, but on the contrary, your cat will even interact with them in order to steal some cuddles. If the friends are loud, however, your Persian might choose to retreat a little farther away, but nevertheless your cat won't probably be stressed or annoyed. So as long as your friends don't stress your cat out, your Persian will be quite happy. What if you're allergic to cats? Sadly, the Persian is most likely not a good choice. While completely hypoallergenic cats don't exist, there are some that are less allergenic. Unfortunately, the Persian cat is not one of those breeds. Moreover, Persian cats require long grooming sessions, time in which you'll be directly breathing the allergens. So it's very clear why Persian cats are a bad choice for allergic people. What if you want to always go on vacations? I hate to spoil it for you, but you're not cut out for being a Persian cat parent. That is, if you don't want to change your lifestyle. You see, Persian cats are not cats you can often live at home and have someone come over to give them food. That's because they need human presence and can get depressed otherwise. The half hour spent by the carer with your cat is not enough. And let's not forget about the Persian's grooming needs. The best option when living on vacation is to take your cat to a carer or to a friend's home. This someone must of course cater for the Persian's needs but also have a stable, calm environment. Needless to say, carers in these types of situations can get pretty expensive and having to always sync with a friend when going on vacations will eventually become a burden. So we come a long way and learned lots about the perfect Persian cat parent, but I'm going to address two of the most important ones, money and health. I place them in the same category as they're closely related. But let's start with the money. Should you get a Persian cat if you don't have a very decent financial situation? Unfortunately, you should only consider getting a Persian cat if A. You have the money to buy your cat from a respectable breeder and B. You can also afford the cost of the long list of potential health problems your Persian cat could have. By getting your cat from an authorized breeder, you minimize the chances of your Persian cat having health issues. Furthermore, you can ask for DNA tests for serious genetic diseases that are otherwise almost impossible to predict. I talk more about this topic in the Persian Cat 101 video I made. Secondly, even if you get a Persian cat from a breeder, there are still some chances your cat will inherit other less serious problems. Before getting a Persian, make sure you have the money to provide for the health care of your cat. You can easily do that by going to a few vets and ask them about the healthcare costs involved when owning a Persian. So if you don't have lots of money, then please be a responsible person and don't get a Persian cat. And last but not least, what if you have lots of free time and want to spend it teaching your cat some cool tricks? While you can certainly try to teach your Persian cat tricks, the Persian breed is not known for its intelligence. You can still have fun and bond with your cat in the process, but don't make high hopes. If you're still here, I really hope you're suited and can accomplish your dream of being a Persian cat parent. But if you really want to learn everything there is to know about Persian cats, check the video on the screen and subscribe because I'll be posting more Persian cat videos in the future. See you in my next video.